In today's video, we are going to be working on this massive medieval barn to house all of our animals in our survival world. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our single player survival series, Build the Kingdom, and we are on episode 3, and today, you guys saw it, we're going to be working on a very large medieval barn to house our animals because right now we just have our cows kind of sitting here and then we also need some sheep that we need to get together so we can get some wool going to make some more builds and whatnot so yeah just like our windmill and farm this is going to be a very important build to help progress in the world and that's the way i want to take this series i want to i want to slowly progress and make all the builds that we make here in this little town something that has a use like we have the farm we have our house for our storage and then we have our starter house and that dog is just I don't know what is up with that dog. So the barn I'm gonna put right about here in this area because we have a lot of land here and it's a pretty big build. But first we have to get all the materials for it. And also we need to clear out this land so we have a pretty nice idea of how we're going to lay this out in terms of the path and everything here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get going on deforesting this area and making sure we have enough land and materials to build this thing. Alright, so I cleared out the area, all the trees that were over here. Also, I killed a few cows and I got some cow heads, which we might can use in the build, since there's probably going to be a butcher around or something. Um, yeah, the area is now cleared all the way back to where this kind of hill starts up here. I was thinking about clearing up all the trees up to the plains biome back there, but we're not going to use all that space, so I just did up to here. But for the most part, we're probably going to expand the land a little bit over here over the water because we have a path here and I was thinking this can be the kind of entrance path into the barn. So it'll sit right here. But before we do just start and put up this barn quickly, I do want to do a little bit of kind of tidying up around here. I want to finish this pathway, connect things up so we have a proper little path and a nice area around here that connects to the barn. Because I don't just want to put it up and then just have random empty space. I want to make sure everything is kind of neat and tidy, all put together well and all connected. So I'm going to go work on some planning and some pathing and I'll get back with you guys. All right, so I made kind of a layout, somewhat of a layout. So I extended this path around here before I just kind of ended off here, but I continued it and I just kind of hugged this wall here. I think I may make it bigger because it would make sense. We have like animals coming through or like a cart coming through. And then right here, this path diverges out this way kind of curves a little bit and it'll go around the barn. Also I terraformed a tiny bit here. This lake used to go out all the way here and then we moved the cows obviously because they were in the way. But yeah this right here is pretty much the base shape of the barn and then over here is a bit of a extension. We're gonna have a little roof here like a little walkway with the overhang roof and then right here is gonna be a tiny little tower. Yeah, I'm really excited to get going on this project because once we finish one project that means we can add another and another until we grow out this town. I don't really have a set idea of everything I want to put, so I'm just kind of going from one thing to the next and hoping it all fits together well. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this giant barn and then we can see where we can go next from there. So yeah, guys, as the sun sets, let's get right back into another good old fashioned time lapse. And this one's gonna be, it'll take quite a while because this, this thing's huge. But anyways, uh, let's get to it. Alright, so the bait structure of the barn is pretty much done. I got it all finished, all the, the whole structure is done, all the walls are done. And I just want to show you guys what it looks like without all the small, tiny details that I added to the build. So as you can see, it's very basic, very flat. 
not a lot of interest but once you get these details on it'll look a whole lot better to um it's pretty much going to get a makeover yeah this is the basic structure we have our huge entrance here which you can see coming from the wheat field and then the interior of it it's very dark right now it's empty and i'll get to it later and the back just kind of the same thing also on the time lapse i did die a creeper kind of snuck up on me when i was right here so that was unfortunate we also had a lot of levels so that's not very fun I think it might be our first death on the on the world so I'm, uh, I'm glad i got that captured on camera so yeah we have our barn here lots of windows and then i'll knock out an entrance here later on but i don't have it here right now and that'll lead to this little tower that we have here so it's kind of unusual you don't really see this on a barn but i kind of wanted to add it just to add i don't know something extra also this is where the cows will be the cow pens i have some bushes going around like so and then again we can have our path it'll wrap around and it'll all tie in nicely i can't wait to get the finishing details on this the final touches so um yeah let's go pretty up this barn and yet another time lapse so yeah, i'll see you guys once i get this bad boy finished And the final touches on the barn are complete. As you can see, it's way more detail now. It's not just flat. There's some depth to it. There's some detail and some mitts and bobs here and there. Like up here, we have the little hayloft area where you can store the hay. And then we have one just right there, but the barn needs one too. Get some hay in for the animals. Then now it looks like there's some action going on in the, in the little village. They're all working. And the interior still still isn't quite done. It's very empty. But I'll get to it soon sometime. Like the uh, the windmill one over there that's still empty too. But yeah, the whole build's pretty much complete now. There's also some holes back here that I kind of left open because I still use these caves from time to time. But maybe in the future we can do some kind of mining building here. Some kind of quarry or something. But now all that's left is to do the animal pens here, which I'll put over here. I'll get a fence, kind of wrap it around this area. And then I'll probably cut it off in the middle so we can have like sheep on one side and cows here. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is pretty up the area, get the animal pens looking nice and decorated, and then kind of fix up the roads a bit more so they're more structured because this is kind of meh. I'm not too sure how I feel about this road. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I finish that. And the beautification of the barn is complete. So I fixed up this path that goes all the way around and through here. So it's way wider than it was through here and also added some coarse dirt just to add some variation because like right here this is very bland and this is just for like our little starter path when we first started out but now we can start to detail more so the cows are all vibing over here oh, oh i think they can can they escape here um i don't think they can go through here yeah that kind of scared me a little bit because i thought they could escape yeah everything is complete and it looks so much better i am really starting to love this village here and have so many ideas for what to build now. And I'm really excited to get this whole plate all spruced up and finished. So we have a nice little finished single player project. And then we can work on bigger things too. They added some storage here and then some carpet so we can just go on through. And the tower is not really finished. You can't go up. But I'll change that in the future. And these cows are annoying. So we have our tower here and our little walkway. And then soon we'll probably have some sheep over here. Because that's what I think I'll need the most next after cows. And then we can just put every animal in here probably. And this isn't cheating but I just wanted to show the world from a aerial view because it looks really cool. I've flown around a bit myself in Spectator checking this out. And I have so many ideas of like new projects I want to put out here. Now, these paths are already starting to look awesome. Our world is starting to be filled out. So basically if you didn't know we're kind of on like a peninsula here oh that's a cloud there's like this little pond that goes through here naturally and then just a giant lake right here kind of and earlier on in the world that mountain seemed like it was so far away but now that we're expanding it's just so close to us it feels like that i just always see it in the distance but it's kind of cool it's kind of like a nice backdrop so maybe in the future we can get some mega build up there but for now as far as world building and expanding adding more houses to the village I think I want to do a fisherman's house right here by this pond and maybe some smaller ones throughout. I do want to have a couple of small houses and also in the far far future, well not too far, probably a few episodes away, I want to build a giant manor up on this hill here because you kind of have this natural slope that goes up against this cliff here and I think it'll be a 
perfect spot just to pop a manor down here. That kind of looks down upon the village. We can have some nice views. It can be huge. We have so many ideas, so many things I want to build. So be sure to stay tuned because there'll be a lot of building <laughs> just like this. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Build the Kingdom, my survival building world. And if you guys want to see some more building, be sure to subscribe because I'll be uploading more of this series and other series which will have lots of building. Yeah, thanks for stopping by and stay blessed.